so welcome to my channel electronics on wheels so as i promised you earlier that i am going to create one video on power distribution so today's video is going to be on power distribution so before watching this particular video i am i have request you to watch the videos which i have made on the basics of load what type of load we have in the vehicle and the what are the sources we have i have made on battery and the alternator so around three videos i have made on alternator you can go through the videos and then you watch this video then it will be a more meaningful for you i will give you the uh, link for those videos in the description box so you can go through it so as i have uh, you know created all the videos which you have requested and which is relevant to the vehicle so i have one request can i get the 100 like and 100 subscriber on this video so it I will be grateful for if I get the 100 subscribe and 100 like on this video. So thank you for your support all the time. So let's start with the power distribution. So as you can see, there are some legend I have written on the left side of this particular uh, slide. So you can see this is the symbol of the fuse. So power distribution, what are the elements which have or the components which we have in the power distribution? First is the fuse. Second is relay. Then HS switch. HS switch is not the uh, nothing but the high side switch. And uh, these switches are used to turn the electrical loads on and off by switching the positive side of the load supply additionally these are the smart heights uh, high side switches and are designed with the ability to protect themselves and diagnose possible unintended system behavior if there is a unintended system behavior is present in the particular system or power distribution then they cut off themselves so these are the high side uh, high side switch then pre fuse box pre fuse box is nothing but our primary distribution as you can see then relay and fuse box are the component then battery of course and then generator generator is nothing but the alternator so this is the basic structure of the power distribution so you can see the sources then primary power distribution in source we have the battery and we have the alternator that is uh, generator or alternator then in power distribution mainly we have the midi and mega fuses so this is the part of our uh, primary uh, primary power distribution then secondary power distribution where we have the our high side switch as well relays we have and then fuses as well we have so this is the part of high, uh, secondary power distribution and then it goes to the electrical electronic control unit which we have the engine ecu or body control unit and the qm loads as well so i will explain there are some safety regulation for the power distribution in coming classes i will explain those ACL safety uh, standards ACL A, B, C, D and ISO 26262 what it is and how it is used in the power distribution. Then in last you have the load smart actuator auxiliary issues where you have engine fan, EPS, then pump, then seat ECU uh, and LED ECU and other heating. EPS is nothing but electronic power steering. So this is how our power distribution looks like and it is distributed in the same way. But we have different configuration in power distribution and generation then we will see in the coming slides those things so let's move to the second slide so as i told you the power distribution as it is today is based on a wire harness to transport the energy fuse to protect the wire harness relay and switches to start and stop the energy flow and ecus to control the energy flow so if i talk about the uh, a wire harness wire harness wire harness is to transport the energy from one end to other end fuses to protect that particular wire harness relay and switches if i talk about relay and switches those are to stop or start the energy flow through one point to other and ecus if i talk about then ecu are the to control the energy flow that when that particular function need to be on and off so this is the overall picture of the power distribution and how what is the function and where they are placed in the power distribution so power distribution system is built on three main element so as i told you in the previous that primary power distribution secondary power distribution is this one and primary power distribution is this one then we have the electronic control unit ecus the primary power distribution is closed close near close to source always and often called as pre fuse box pre fuse box it is called pre fuse box and secondary power distribution as of today is the classical relay and fuse box which is can be placed in a central box or a several several distributed boxes so this as i told you that this particular source we have then we have the primary distribution 
primary uh, power distribution which will be having the fuses and the fuses will be mega and midi fuses where you have the high value and then secondary power distribution where you have the fuse and relays which are controlling the particular function or the energy flow from one point to other point but these particular secondary fuse box can be multiple it is not only one secondary fuse will be in your vehicle it can be several or sometimes there would be one central unit which will be having only one secondary fuse from where the all the uh, you know power distribution is having uh, happening to the all the loads to the different different direction we will see that particular configuration as well in the coming slide so i hope you understood what we are uh, i'm trying to say here and what i am trying to convey here by this particular figure now coming to the you know uh, the advanced feature or the uh, the future of this particular power distribution how it is going so already a decade ago, a decade ago engineers started to remove the relay if you see here to remove the relay and fuses from the secondary power distribution so this particular primary power distribution also we have the fuses so it is very difficult to remove but for the secondary power distribution that fuse and relay basically are integrated with the electronic control unit now this trend is happening and in coming years you will see that you will be not having the secondary power distribution and you will be having only one zonal controller in pcb and where all the fuse and relay are integrated in that so the most common approach has been moved to reliability critical function critically function to an ecu such an body control unit where the clamp clamp is the uh, clamp 30 that is key off release and clamp 15 that is key on function are located so these are the functions where uh, you know are located in the bcm and replacing relay and fuses with semiconductor in this way increase the power distribution reliability and thanks to additional diagnostic and enhanced protection feature so what we are trying to do here so in the common uh, simple language you see this power, secondary power distribution is having our fuses and relay box and some switches also as i told you the ss hs switch so all these things fuses relay and hs switch are integrated with the zonal box itself so that in or in, in inside the this body control issue itself so that we can have uh, you know more reliability and that reliability comes because of we are using fuse relay in terms of semiconductors so semiconductors has more reliability more control over the fire and uh, you know uh, or the burning issues if something is happening and controller is controlling that particular function then it has more control red uh, compared to the uh, normal fuses so this is the objective and in future we are going in that direction that this secondary power distribution is going to be replaced with the electronic control unit where we will be having some zonal controller and those are those controllers are going to control that particular function of fuses and relays let's move to the more detail that uh, how it is and why it is going so today's the designer are the having the challenge that to harmonize the power distribution architecture in the ivn ivn is nothing but the in vehicle network architecture which is transforming with zonal architecture with central computing so introduce a fail operation concept for dependable power supply uh, definitely and uh, the distribution by use of safety element mainly in a primary power distribution reduce wire harness complexity by decentralizing and electrification of secondary power distribution and introduce introduction of zonal controllers so the the thing which we have discussed in the previous slide so this is the same thing that we are going to introduce the zonal controller which are going to save uh, uh, you know um, the um, more safety and more reliability in terms of so why the all these are happening because as you know that we are having the connectivity and advanced security which are like SOTA, CAR2X, infotainment, security. And we have different, different electromobility as well that MHEV, PHEV, FHEV and BEV. So I, you might be aware of these. And if you are not aware, I have made one particular video where I have discussed these terminology. Then we have automated driving that L0, L2, and then L3, then L4, L5. So all these things are uh, the are uh, coming into the you know as a automated driving and which is you know control uh, making more complexity and that is the also one reason that a zonal architecture with central computing is the need of R. So let's move what are the uh, configuration or generation we are using so we can identify the three generation of power distribution which are coexist with the market with different share the generation one today generation one and generation two are the most dominant and many OEM to have target to 
have the generation 3 by 2030 and 2000 uh, to 2025 to 35 then generation 3 is mainly for the bv vehicles so as you can see this centralized power distribution where you have this particular issue and here you have the issue and this is my battery and you have this fuse box and this particular primary fuse box and secondary fuse box and after that you are getting all the wires from this particular central fuse box so this is the generation first which most of the oems are using then second is partially decentralized power distribution this one is the centralized power distribution where one particular secondary fuse box is there and you are using all the power supply from that particular fuse box then second is partially decentralized fuse box where what is done that you have one particular power source and then after that the secondary fuse box is divided into the four sub secondary fuses so uh, what happens from this that wire gauge can be reduced from this and wire hardness reduction optimization so partly or up to fully electrification of the primary and secondary power distribution and increasing the flexibility for decentralization and wire hardness reduction so you can see that if you are keeping the fuse box secondary fuse box here only and you are taking all the wires from here then it will be a very difficult for the wire harness that uh, you have to take more uh, wire csc from this particular and all the wire length would be more but when you are taking from this particular uh, secondary box on the four location then it would be easy for uh, to take the power supply from this particular uh, secondary box so suppose i have this s1 s2 s3 and s4 so if i am i want the particular power from this for this particular uh, tail lamp or head lamp then i can take from here directly i can take from here directly so this is the uh, like a harness wire harness reduction for that particular uh, feature and this is also the same thing which uh, here it is shown uh, you can see so this is the generation 2 and then fully decentralization power distribution where the significant wire harness reduction is there the former secondary power distribution is transfer uh, transferred into the primary power distribution and mainly into zonal controller so zone controller become the secondary power distribution and it is fully electrified so you can see that here this is the uh, zone controller which are placed and it is uh, you know easy to control uh, control the particular function and this particular generation 3 uh, are very uh, very few companies are using this particular generation 3 power distribution uh, so this is the overall architecture we will talk only generation 1 and generation 2 in the coming videos where we will discuss that how the fuse are selected for this particular uh, you know generation or the configuration for the wiring harness so let's see this particular zonal controller in a more um, and more uh, so let's understand this particular zonal controller in a more detailed way if you see here this is the one zonal controller this is one zonal controller and this is one zonal controller and this is one zonal controller so suppose i take z1 z2 and z3 and z4 and all these zonal controller are connected with the central computer through the wire harness so these are the zonal controller from where you are going to take the power supply for your camera lights radar mirror windows seats accessories so these are the you know Uh, the, the, this is the concept which is going uh, for the zonal controller where you are taking all the power supply through this zonal controller and you can see by this architecture that this particular architecture will be helpful for the wire harness uh, weight reduction and the wire length as well so this is the overall picture of power distribution as if i summarize the whole uh, power distribution so we have the three power distribution generation generation 1 where we have the centralized power distribution one secondary fuse and from that particular secondary fuse you are taking the wires to the whole vehicle then second one is where we have divided our secondary fuse box in a different different location similar to the zonal controller but there is also one challenge that fuse box uh, in that particular fuse box you will be having the fuse and the relays and which is sometimes is difficult to manage and uh, there are the chances of uh, you know fire and the fire accident so what we did in the zonal architecture that fuse and relays are integrated into the zonal controller or zonal controller means that pcb uh, uh, that is the printed circuit board where the fuse and the relays are integrated into that semiconductor 
uh, fuse and relays so where you have the more control more reliability more feasibility uh, so this is the overall picture of power distribution in the next class we will understand that how the fuse are distributed in the generation 1 and generation 2 and how you have you are going to uh, select those uh, fuses uh, for those uh, you know different different loads so thank you for watching this particular video and if you like the video and the content of this video please like subscribe and comment thank you for your time thank you for watching